Hello everyone, welcome back. We were discussing CA foundation principles and practice of accounting final accounts. Now we've done questions on each and every topic. We're going to solve a master problem on the chapter of final accounts, which will not just involve preparation of trading PL balance sheet, but this question will involve preparation of manufacturing, trading, PL as well as balance sheet. Done. So let's get started. This is a 15 marker question from December 2021 examinations conducted by ICI. Have a look. 15 marks it is for this question. This part of our uh, HS module also. Yeah, start reading the question. On 31st of March 2021, the trial balance of Mr. Black is given to us, and this is as follows. They have given debit side and the credit side for this particular item. Great. Come to adjustments. Stock as on 31st of March. All the three variants of stock is given. It is important and relevant. You know why? We will take the raw material in manufacturing account to determine consumption of raw material. We will take finished goods in trading account, opening and closing. Work in progress, opening and closing will come in manufacturing account. So that's the reason this is important. This is closing stock. So this would come in two places. Manufacturing, trading depends where it comes and it will also come in balance sheet total. Total of the closing stock will come in balance sheet as usual. Salaries and wages, there is some adjustment. Come to trial balance, identify salaries, identify wages. Keep on small dot. So there is an adjustment with regard to salaries. There is an adjustment on salaries. There is an adjustment on wages. Wages. And salary. Both have adjustment. Then any other item with adjustment? <coughs> then there is machinery is to be depreciated at 10%. Office furniture by 7 and a half. So there is depreciation on machinery and office furniture. Come to trial balance. Do you find machinery somewhere there? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, plant and machinery. Then furniture, office furniture. Both of them. Mark, what do we have after office furniture and uh, this one? Next adjustment. Provision for doubtful debts. Hey, but the cool part, you know what? It is not 1% of debtors. In this case, it is 1% of sales. Remember, it is not on debtors. It's on sales. Okay. Let's keep on chukki. Do we already have provision? Read the question. Yeah, we have already. Okay, I don't know how many of them would have taken it by mistake on it us. It's an important problem. A five minute break which was given up to ten minutes. I think I gave ten minutes break, not five minutes. Yes. No, I I saw the time. It was ten minutes. In spite of that, if you not come in, then it's a mistake. Some things have to be learnt. Little hard way. Rent is to be charged as to three fourth to factory, one fourth to office. So factory means it will go to manufacturing account. Office means it will go to P and L. Great. So let's take this three fourth to factory, one fourth to office. Uh, make a small note next to rent. We have rent here. Lighting now. No, no. What we rate is rent. Rent is to be charged as to three fourth to factory and one fourth office. Next we have lighting also something similar, but the ratio is different. Okay. Lighting also will put one star. So the extent it relates to factory, it will come in manufacturing account. So the extent it relates to office, it will come in PL account. Done. What do we have after that? Then uh, that's it. Prepare manufacturing, trading, and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2021. Shall we start? Huh? Balance sheet is not asked. We'll prepare balance sheet. Trial balance is there and it's tallying. No? If not, what is the point of calling it a master problem? 50 rupees, if you want, you cut. Then don't say balance sheet is not telling, sir. 50 rupees I cut from cash. Don't say that. So let's start. We have opening stock. To start with, opening stock of raw material 2 lakh 10,000. Where do I write that opening stock of uh, raw material 2 lakh 10? We will post it to our manufacturing account. In my manufacturing account, I'll write here to opening work in progress. How much? 2 lakh 10,000. Oh, sorry, sorry. Raw material will come in consumption of raw material competition, which is 
Opening plus purchase minus closing. How much is opening? 2 lakh 10,000. Then what else we have? Work in progress opening is 95,000. I will write this in my <laughs> manufacturing account to opening work in progress 95,000. Then we have finished goods opening. How much? 1 lakh 55. This 1 lakh 55,000 opening finished goods. I would post it to my trading account on the debit side. Come on, trading account. I'll write here on the debit to opening stock of finished goods 1 lakh 55. Done. Next item. Thundry data 2 lakh 40. If there is provision now, it needs to be readjusted. So I would have to keep my data in the inner column. New provision has to be deducted. Let us do that. Thundry data 2 lakh 40. Balance sheet asset side. Shall I read on the balance sheet asset side? Thundry data. 2 lakh 40 thousand in the inner column. Clear. Next item carriage on purchases. This is nothing but carriage inwards. Direct expense. Where do we write? Trading or manufacturing. Manufacturing. Why? Here the purchase is raw material, not finished goods. If you are not preparing manufacturing account, I would have written this carriage on purchase in trading account. Because if you are not a manufacturer but we are a trader, we will buy finished goods. It will come in trading. If you are a manufacturer, you will not buy finished goods. You will buy raw material. Raw material will come in manufacturing. Carriage on purchase of raw material also will come in manufacturing. Shall I write in manufacturing account? Debit side 15,000. Yes. Oh, let us go to manufacturing account. Here on the debit, let me write carriage on purchases 15,000. Debit in manufacturing account. Got it? Yes or no? What's after that 15,000? We have bills receivable of 1 lakh 50. Asset. Balance sheet, asset side, 1 lakh. Let me write that in our balance sheet. 100 retards, I'll leave little space for that uh, provision adjustment. I'll write bills receivable, 1 lakh 50 in the outer column. No doubts? Is something? Pakka. Very good. After that, there is wages of 1 lakh 30. There is a star. What does it mean? There is adjustment. We'll write it in the inner column. Wages 1 lakh 30 in the inner column in manufacturing. This is manufacturing wages. Then, meaning we will write here, it is not completely manufacturing, part of it will shift it later. Some adjustment is wages manufacturing only. So, no, I think there is outstanding for whatever it is. We will see it later. Salaries 1 lakh. Where do I write? PL account? Not trading, not trading. PL. Salaries account. Is there adjustment? Yeah. There is some outstanding for 1 month or so. Will I adjust it? I, right now it is in the inner column in PL account. After that, we have telephone and postage. I will write this 10,000 in PNL. Now, don't ask me, sir, what if the telephone was in factory? If the telephone is in factory, factory may so much noise will come. No, you can't hear it. So, they have kept it in the office. Okay, now. Nah. You say, sir, that also should be proportionately shared. Illa. Factory only tumba sound. Phone no noise will not be heard. Okay. Telephone and postage 10,000 done. Okay. Next. Postage smart go down no no office letter tar ella paper pen on to do it from office repairs to office furniture three thousand five hundred again P and L expense repairs to office furniture three thousand five hundred done what do we have after that cash at bank one lakh seventy balance sheet asset let me write cash at bank one lakh seventy asset in the balance sheet <coughs> done what's after cash at bank there is office furniture of one lakh. Shall we write this in the balance sheet asset side? Office furniture 1 lakh. I hope you guys don't have any doubt. Very good. Then, repairs to plant is 11,000. This repairs to plant being 11,000 in expenditure. I will write it in my PL account. Repairs to plant. Sorry. Hey, repairs to plant manufacturing expense. Sorry. Manufacturing. Why? Plant depreciation. This is manufacturing entity, you know. It will come in manufacturing, not in trading. So let's write in manufacturing account. Little space for our uh, wages adjustment and repairs on plant 11,000 in manufacturing. Depreciation on plant and machinery, manufacturing account. And repairs on plant and machinery also manufacturing account because plant and machinery is used in manufacturing in the factory. Got that? Then, then after that, purchases 8 lakh 50. Where do we write? What is this purchases? Finished goods purchase. Or raw material purchase. So it should come in manufacturing account. We cannot read it in trading account debit side. Why? We are manufacturing finished goods and transferring it from manufacturing to trading. We are not writing it as two purchases in trading account. 
So let me write this purchase. This is purchase of raw material, which will be used in computation of consumption of raw material. Opening plus purchase minus closing. How much is the purchase now? Eight lakh fifty. Two lakh ten plus eight lakh fifty. Clear. Great. What do we have after that? Plant and machinery seven lakh. Balance sheet asset. Yes or no? Adjustment is there. So keep it in inner column. Seven lakh plant and machinery balance sheet assets. What's the item after that? There is rent. There is adjustment. Sixty thousand. Write it in uh, factory, but keep it in the inner column. Factory, no. Rent. Uh, we'll write it here, and then we'll keep it in the inner column. If you want, you can write it in PNL account and then keep it in the inner column. Also. We'll write in PNL and then write it in inner column. Anything is fine. Have you already written here? Sixty thousand will be in inner column. Okay, now this sixty thousand will be split between factory and office. We have given the ratio. We'll do it later. After that, there is lighting thirteen thousand five hundred. Where would this come? Again, this has to be split between factory and uh, office. So I will write it in the P and L account inner column. How much? Thirteen thousand five hundred is there in the inner column. Done. What's after that? General expenses, no adjustment, completely P&L expense. Let's write general expense, fifteen thousand, simple, no problem whatsoever. What's after that? Hey, we're done with trading account. Sorry, trial balance debit side. Now come to credit side. Sundry creditors one lakh fifty. Where do we write balance sheet liability one lakh fifty? Cool. Let's write balance sheet on the liability side. Sundry creditors adjustment is ya? Illa one lakh fifty. Bills payable seventy five thousand. Shall I write it on the liability side? Yes or no? Very good. Then sale of scrap. This will decrease the cost of production. It should come in manufacturing account credit side. Let me write twenty five thousand in my manufacturing account on the credit side by sale of scrap twenty five thousand. Then commission received four thousand five hundred is our income P and L account credit side. There is no adjustment. So I'll post it sweet to the outer column. Commission received four thousand five hundred. Indirect income post it straight to outer column. Then we have provision for two bullets. Ah, if so, there is an adjustment. So what will we do? We'll not write it in the balance sheet. We'll identify the current provision and then write. But we'll adjust it with this old provision balance. If we have to create it further, we'll create. If there is excess, we'll write off. We'll do it. So remember that this provision for two bullets is not posted anywhere. And we're keeping it in our mind. Shall we do that? Very good. Capital is there. Where do we write? Balance sheet, liability, capital, ten lakh inner column. Why? We need to adjust it for net profit at least bare minimum. If when if not there is the there is no additional capital drawings, we should adjust it minimum for net profit. So capital, ten lakh inner column, balance sheet, liability side. Then sales sixteen lakh seventy two. It is sale of finished goods trading account. Credit side, shall I write buy sales, sixteen lakh seventy two thousand. Ah, remember, provision need to be completed on this sales of sixteen lakh seventy two one percent. But don't do it now. We'll do it when we read that. Yes, you get it. We are following the order. Order is very important. Ah, huh? bank old rap, body eighty five thousand. Balance sheet liability, eighty five thousand. B O D bank old rap balance sheet liability. By this, we are done with complete trial balance. Now we'll start with adjustment. Number one, they have given closing stock, raw material, finished goods, work in progress. Raw material one lakh sixty two. We'll use it in computation of consumption of raw material. So in my consumption of raw material, that is in manufacturing account, we do opening raw material plus purchase of raw material minus closing raw material. How much is closing raw material? One lakh sixty two. If we deduct this, how much is consumption? Eight lakh ninety eight thousand. First done. Next item, we have uh, finished goods closing stock one lakh eighty one. Where do we write this? Trading account credit side. Trading account after sales. I'll write here buy closing stock of finished goods one lakh eighty one thousand. Then we have last item work in progress. Manufacturing account credit side seventy eight. Let's come to manufacturing account. Let me write here buy closing work in progress seventy eight thousand. All the three we've written the credit aspect now. We should write the debit aspect. That is asset aspect. That is financial position evaluation period. What we wrote right till now is financial performance evaluation. All the three variants of stock will appear in the balance sheet as asset. I'll write here stock. 
How many variants? Raw material, work in progress, finished goods. How much raw material? 1,62,1,81,78. Together. 4,21,000. Yes. Can you write all these three items, 162,181,78 straight away in the outer column? No, nothing wrong. Do you lose marks? Lose them. Yeah, you can write them separate separately. Lose, lose, you can write. Or you can write together like this also. Yeah, then don't write like this separately and then be thinking, okay, Hagar. Doesn't matter. Anything is fine. Double entry done for the stock. Shall we go to the next adjustment? What do you have after that? Salary and wages unpaid for the year ended 31st March 2021 were respectively 9 and 20. 9 and 20 is outstanding salaries and wages. Okay, it's a liability. We will write it in balance sheet liability side. It is expense not recorded. We will increase our expense of salary side. Shall we do that? How much for salaries? 9. How much for wages? 20. Ah, don't take ah, wages will be 9. Salaries will be 20. Don't go by your logic. You have given with respect. Maria the other. Salary 9, wages 20. You also Maria the after the whole. Correct. Ah, okay. Salaries 9. In our P and L, I'll write here. Add outstanding. 9000 it will become 1 lakh 9 and in wages we have written manufacturing account i have written wages 1 lakh 30 i'll write here plus outstanding 20 it will become 1 lakh 20000 wages outstanding 9000 salaries outstanding together how much 29 balance sheet liability balance sheet liability side i'll write outstanding salaries 9 outstanding wages 20 understood what's after that Machinery is to be depreciated by 10%. Office furniture by 7.5. Office furniture less depreciation 7.5. Plant and machinery 10%. This is 70, 6 lakh 30. 7500, 92 500. Easy, no? But total depreciation of 7500 plus 70,000 is expense. This should appear in PL account debit side. So let's write in PL account debit side to depreciation 77,500. Tell me. Come to PL account here below general expense. I'll write to depreciation on office furniture 7500 to depreciation on one more item is there. Furniture, furniture, I thought plant and machinery will write it in manufacturing accounts. Come to manufacturing account here. I'll write depreciation on machinery 70,000. 70,000 machinery equipment depreciation manufacturing repairs manufacturing and furniture building. If it is factory building, manufacturing, office building, we end up. I told this to you when we wrote repairs on plant. Now we are writing it here. Okay, da. Next item. Provision on debtors at what rate? 1% of sales. Sales is how much? 16,72. Now, how much should I be writing here? Less provision. 1% of 16,72,000. 1,67,200. Sorry, sorry. 16,720. Correct. 1% of 16,72. 16,720. This is a provision to be maintained. But we already have existing provision which I have highlighted here. How much? 16,000. 16,500 is the existing provision. Provision needs to be maintained at 16,720. So, 220 to be additionally created. How? 16,720 minus 16,500. Provision to be maintained is more than provision maintained. Provision to be maintained 16,720. Provision maintained 16,500. 220 will create now. Creation of provision is an expense. We'll write it in PL account debit side. How much? Only 220. Correct now. Where do we write? So, provision for doubtful debts. 1% of sales, which is 16,720, less existing provision 16,500. So, we'll create 220 rupees provision. Done. Here, write the write it in the outer column. How much is this? Two lakh forty minus sixteen seven twenty. Two lakh twenty three thousand two eighty. Two twenty three two eighty. Perfect. Then what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Three fourth and one fourth. Right. Shall we split that? After this. Lighting. Correct, no? Think of it. 
rent three fourth and one fourth three fourth to factory one fourth to office okay we have written here rent so three fourth to factory so it should not be there in final i'll eliminate factory rent that is three fourth sixty thousand into three by four one lakh eighty by four forty five thousand yeah how much do we get here fifteen thousand is p and l account right this forty five where do i write manufacturing manufacturing may i can write sixty thousand into three by four if you want detailed understand what is this sixty thousand into three by four forty five thousand is right next what will we do lighting is to be charged as to two third of factory two third to factory and one third to office For factory just see now, yeah, factory will be big space, office will be small space. Factory may more electricity lighting is required, yeah, two third. Okay, we have written here lighting in uh, P and L. How much? Thirteen five hundred. Two third will go to factory, so we'll eliminate two third here. Two third to factory. How much? Nine thousand. So what will be remaining here? Four thousand five hundred. This nine thousand shall write in manufacturing account debit side. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> let me write here in manufacturing lighting to lighting thirteen thousand into two by three nine thousand <coughs> expense return we deducted nine thousand from P and L and then put it to manufacturing. Idu no ay. That's it. Hey, question is over. Hey, now what do we do in uh, manufacturing account? In manufacturing, we will find cost of producing finished goods balance and figure on the credit. Take that. Put it in trading account. Trading account will find GP. Take that. Put it in P&L account. In P&L account, find net profit. Take that. Put it in balance sheet. Total it to capital. Write the capital. Total the balance sheet on both sides. You should get the answer. Shall we do that? Come on, help me. Total manufacturing account. Ninety five plus eight lakh ninety eight plus fifteen plus one lakh fifty plus eleven plus seventy plus forty five plus nine. If you have done so much now, when you are totaling this, even if the death comes, no, we assume that okay, Yama Dutar, Yama Raj, just one second. Manufacturing account close, Madhi trading close, Madhi trade. Balance sheet close, note I will come. Correct or not? Yeah. Twelve lakh ninety three, twelve lakh ninety three minus twenty five minus seventy eight. Yeah, by trading account cost of producing finished goods balancing figure. Yes, sir. Eleven lakh ninety thousand. Where do we post this? Trading account debit side. Come on, let's go to trading account on the debit side. Right to manufacturing account. If it is a, if he is a manufacturer and not a producer, sorry, not a trader. He if he is a only trader and not a manufacturer, we would have written in our trading account two purchases for this because we are preparing manufacturing we're writing manufacturing account. How much? Eleven lakh ninety. Let me write eleven lakh ninety. There is no other direct expenses and all. Simple, sweet. Tell me how much is the total here? Sixteen lakh, seventeen lakh, eighteen lakh, fifty-three thousand, eighteen lakh fifty-three minus thirteen lakh forty-five. Five lakh. What is this? Gross profit carried down to where? To P and L account. In P and L account, by gross profit brought down five lakh eight. Five lakh eight plus four thousand five hundred is five lakh twelve thousand five hundred. I'll write five lakh twelve thousand five hundred here as well. Let me find my net profit balance carried down as balance in figure. <coughs> three lakh forty seven thousand seven eighty. We'll write this three forty seven seven eighty to capital. We have capital here. I will add profit three forty seven seven eighty. Thirteen lakh forty seven seven eighty is my capital. Come on, total the balance. Three lakh, sixteen lakh, eighty-six thousand seven eighty. Now we decide. Check it on the asset side. Look it up. Ta-da! Did you? Did you get it? Agle bikko. Agle to thare badi to. This is how you get fifteen marks in examination. If you guys have, uh, uh, if you guys like this, please like, share, subscribe, and then comment. Don't forget to press the bell icon. See you all in the next class. Huh? And. Uh,
See you all in the next one. Till then, Tata, bye bye. Take care. Copy. <laughs> we will do uh, one separate introduction now.